And ABC News legal contributor and managing partner at the Cochrane firm, Shauna Lloyd, joins me now for more on this. Shauna, what a bizarre case. What do you make of this evidence now that the defense says points to this white nationalist pagan group? You know, it's an interesting theory that they have, and it will be able to be presented to the jury if these were indeed factual findings of the police investigation. It could tamper and make a determination for the jury that there was another possibility. So it works for the defense. Now, the defense claims the prosecution sat on this evidence for months. If that's true, why wouldn't the prosecution disclose this evidence? If the prosecution felt like it wasn't relevant to this particular trial, they may not have disclosed it. However, anything that speaks to the anything that speaks to the defendant, his involvement, or any other things that are considered Brady material have to be turned over by the prosecution if it is in their possession. So prosecutors say an unspent bullet found near the bodies links Richard Allen to the crime. So given that, is this new motion enough to get this case thrown out? This motion is significant because if they can have every the search warrant deemed invalid, all of the evidence that was gained from the search warrant, including the gun that they tested, all of that evidence is going to be not admitted at trial. So that's a very significant move if the defense gets this granted. So they want this Franks hearing to determine if an officer lied to obtain that search warrant for Allen's property. What do they have to prove in order to get that warrant thrown out? And does the prosecution still have a case if it is? In order to get these uh, the search warrant suppressed or thrown out, they're going to have to show that either, as they're alleging, the officer got this search warrant under false information, he purposely made a misrepresentation to the court, or there was no factual basis on by which the judge could have granted the search warrant. Because let's remember, we are supposed to be free from undue search and seizure. So search warrants have to be based on independent facts. They have to state what it is you're looking for, why you're looking for it. If any of that information is not accurately given to the judge and a search warrant is given, it can be thrown out. Now, if all of that evidence is thrown out, that weakens the prosecution's case because that is where they believe they found the actual weapon that committed the murder. So that's a significant blow to the prosecution's case. And who then decides if this case moves forward or not? Can they still go and bring this to a jury or could the judge decide we don't have a case here and dismiss it? The likelihood is that it is still going to go to the jury. Now, let's remember the prosecution can always attempt to proffer a, some sort of a plea deal. They can look to do other things if they feel like their case is so weakened that it's not going to survive a jury verdict. All right. ABC News legal contributor Shauna Lloyd. Thanks, Shauna. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.